radiation tower technology spread like wildfire across the nations. Then, in 1918, disaster struck. A condition was being noticed among the general public that seemed as though it could not be explained. Headaches, nausea, fever, dizziness, weakness, dry cough, runny nose, and shortness of breath. The symptom seemed to be that of what we call today the flu or coronavirus. However, in 1918, doctors had little understanding of what it is they were looking at. Most of the history written about what was ultimately called the Spanish flu of 1918 was written in hindsight, such as the term influenza virus did not exist until 1931, coined by Ernest William Goodpasture. In 1912, Goodpasture graduated from the John Hopkins School of Medicine with an MD degree. There, under professors William H. Welch and George H. Whipple, he was subsequently appointed a Rockefeller Fellow in Pathology. After graduating John Hopkins, he joined the Harvard Medical School. In 1919, he undertook the pathological study of the then seemingly unknown pandemic engulfing the world with up to 50 million deaths recorded. In 1931, the Rockefeller Fellow funded Dr. Goodpasture announced that he had made the breakthrough in recreating and identifying the underlying cause of the Spanish flu pandemic of 1918 to 1920. This was the moment that concreted the belief by the American public, as well as people around the world, that in fact, an influenza virus had killed 50 million people in the 1918 pandemic. John D. Rockefeller and his powerful friends like Frederick Taylor Gates, grandfather to now-known Bill Gates, founder of Microsoft, co-founder of the John Hopkins University-sponsored Event 201 that on October 18, 2019, held a live tabletop exercise in New York City simulating a world response to a severe pandemic outbreak of the same influenza strain that was claimed to have killed 50 million in 1918. The same people, the same organizations, and the same cover-up.